Hi everyone, we are from group Kung Fu Panda Kill and I am Jenna. This is our group member which is Suzuwati, Nurul Soleha, Georgi, and Len. Our topic which is Cancer Scanning and Prevention. According to the topic, we choose the breast cancer and our issue which is we find out that a few women in rural areas Sarawak, only a few do the re do the breast cancer scanning. So we choose that issue as our target research. So for this research, our objective is to maximize breast cancer scanning among women in the Sarawak rural area. Then. Why this issue is happened in rural areas Sarawak? They have three causes of reasons, which is lack of the knowledge and education of breast cancer disease prevention. Some of the people they lack of this kind of knowledge. They don't know how what action they need to take to prevent the breast cancer disease. And then the rural area women have serious fear of breast cancer and choose to escape. The mean the mean choose escape is to like someone they don't want to go to body check because after you check you know some have some problem your in your body so you will think more. With that, some people they have a thinking like why better I don't want to check so I no need to think more. Next is the uh, it take a lot of transportation expenses to go to the city for breast cancer scanning in rural area. The first solution is managing breast cancer prevention campaign for women society in rural area Sarawak. What has been done in the past? The first authorities took steps to organize awareness campaign on breast cancer, but most campaigns are only conducted in urban areas. The main purpose of this awareness campaign is to enhance the knowledge and awareness of the community about disease that are the main enemies of women. Knowledge in detecting symptoms are seen in the early stage of breast cancer is very important to reduce the risk of those who get the disease. If there are early signs, they can immediately seek proper treatment in the hospital. In this regard, through, the, through this campaign, it is hoped that participants get some useful information for self-understanding and share with the outside community. Throughout the day, the awareness campaign took place in various events available to the public including multimedia video presentations, breast scanning checks, question and answer sessions with experts as well as forums with breast cancer patients. Next, according to one of the teachers of Sekolah Kebangsaan Pokok Sina, told that she had previously only seen ways of breast examination over the internet. However, the talk session organized using only basic explanation to participants on breast can cancer. Otherwise, during the speech sessions, authorities should give a clear explanation on breast cancer to participants. To enhance the participants' understanding, the breast self examination demonstration session by using the statue model was also done to demonstrate the correct way this PSP method was done to create awareness and importance performing self examination breast in women and providing health edu education directly on PSP. Furthermore, language is momentum, a word that can make others understand or otherwise. This is because talks have a definition as an activity performed between the talkers and the general audience as a listener. The talk session should be presented with the appropriate language as it becomes a minus the, ma the major meaning or not the participants among the community. 
Many orders in the speech session did not communicate to the participants for the value of language usage in delivering it. The language used in an accurate until the order delivered cannot be well understood by the participants. This is because talks usually using standard language such as in Malay and English. Therefore, some people like rural people do not understand it and they fail to receive important message delivered through speech session. In addition, the need for patient information may change at different points in disease and treatment in trajectories with patients with sophisticated disease wanting less information about their illness. It is often difficult for suppliers to accurately estimate or provide the amount or type of in information the patient wants. Next, I will pass it to my friends. Next. There are two recommendation and intervention strategy. First is run breast cancer prevention campaign in small villages in rural area. This is because before this the campaign about breast cancer is was always conducted in urban area. The purpose of this campaign is to ensure that all rural common communities have the awareness to make breast cancer screenings. For example, Activities such as wearing pink ribbons or pink outfit can be carried out at that time as it is one of the ways to provide moral support for those who have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Second, give speech using the local language based on placement. The person who gave the speech should know the language often used by the villagers so that they can easily understand everything that is explained about breast cancer. For example, in the Bidayu Sarawak village area, people who give talks should give talks in Bidayu language so that the community of women who come will be easier to understand about breast cancer prevention. Next slide. Implementation of the recommendation intervention strategies. First, to attract more women to go to the campaign. One of the awareness campaign on breast cancer that we can run is Pink October stands for Pink October. The pink or pink ribbon man has been chosen as a symbol to awareness of breast cancer. This aim to provide information and support to those who are infected with breast cancer. Second, can reduce transportation costs to make a breast cancer screening test. The campaign test is close to their village so that they can save their money to go to campaign. Probably the farthest distance is 10 kilometers and takes about 1 or 2 hours to reach the destinations. So it will make it easier for them and encourage many women to come for breast cancer screening. Third, can provide much more understanding on breast cancer diseases and explain an effective preventive measure. So, the woman should know about the basic that need to be done in order to prevent in this breast cancer from happening. For example, always get and maintain a healthy weight, be physically active and avoid spending time sitting, follow a healthy eating pattern, don't drink alcohol and think carefully about the use of hormone replacement therapy HRT. Lastly, can minimize women death rates due to related diseases and give an enlightenment about how it affects family institutions. So according to the American Psychological Association, when one member of a family has a cancer, the whole family is affected. So, family members are considered by psychologists to be secondary patients. Cancer patients should prepare themselves for treatment by gathering as much emotional support and outside help as possible. So, the, the next slide I pass to Ng Xiaoji. For economic evaluation, Table 1 reflects the financial analysis of awareness breast cancer campaigns. In the awareness campaign help, equipment should be provided followed by the costs available. 
The equipment provided for this camp is like folders, pencils, and notebooks with total cost 44 ringgit. This equipment is provided for participants with a total of 100. Next is renting out territorium in hospital for speech, including projector insurance. This renting is calculated by Howard, so renting fee is 7 ringgit 28 cents per hour and we rent for 10 hour with total cost 72 ringgit 80 cents. After that is cost for lunch. We calculated lunch for participants with total cost 300 ringgit. Total cost for salary of physician trainer is 750 ringgit which is 30 ringgit per one trainer and there is 25 ter trainer. Total cost of laminated books used in community is 129 ringgit. Lastly, salary for individuals hired to recruit 20 community workers with total cost 80 ringgit. Hello, my name is Ziwati and today I want to present about solution 2 which is provide mobile mammogram unit to bring breast cancer screening facilities. What have been done in the past? According to the cases number one, mobile mammogram for breast cancer screening unit are first time launched at Kuala Lumpur, Peninsula Malaysia by National Cancer Council. This program was given free breast cancer screening for all people in Malaysia. With this program, it will make early detected conviction and accessibility to all. The mobile manager with the equipment such as provide the digital mammography facilities as, as well as a self-examination room by travel throughout the peninsula to provide screening service. It can accommodate up to 50 mammograms screening and 100 CBE a day. The program are budgeting at RM 6.6 .6 million and it fund is donation by N. MNR Beholding Berhad and Tenaga National. For cases number two, the mobile mammogram for the breast cancer screening has been launched at the Sabah rural area. This program has also early detected for the breast cancer. It's launched by the Pink Ribbon Witness. The mobile services comprising a bus with a mammogram and ultrasound and a port that could be used to provide necessary breast cancer service. The mobile service being provided because of the awareness of the risk of breast cancer and access among women in the rural area, health care facility in Sabah rural area is still challenges. For the recommendation and intervention strategy, we have provided two, which is first, bring a mobile mammogram unit to Sabah rural area. This mobile mammogram is for the breast cancer screening and it has three digital mammography coach for easy to travel to remote community in Sarawak. This program will help to improve and increasing access to screening mammogram for the women in the rural area. The screening mammogram has a portable and space. It's using digital mammography equipment. The vehicle including a dressing area, mammography, and, re and reception area. But the coach will be have equipment with a wheelchair line. Second is coming up with a free breast cancer screening test with voucher. The free breast cancer screening test with voucher are given to the person that have no symptom breast cancer and must be over age 40 for women. With the free breast cancer screening can help among women earlier detected from breast cancer and the woman will will, will have fifty eight percent chance to surviving from breast cancer, it will help people avoid for having breast cancer and appear to be healthy. This purpose to define breast cancer earlier through the screening test before any system can develop and the cancer will be easy to treat. Earlier, this avoid can decreasing the stage of detected for breast cancer will reduce the death rate among the breast cancer res respectively. That's all for me. I will pass the presentation to Nurul Soleha. Next, 
I am Nur Saria Binti Mom Ayasim, metric number 71229 will present about the implementation of recommendation intervention strategies. We propose this proposal to progress the announcing of usage techniques in investigate bonders. Firstly, is the process of pre-screening test. Basically, the benefit of bringing mobile mammogram unit facilities in a rural area in Sarawak can ease the process of breast screening tests among women at that place. This is because Sarawak rural area still have no mobile mammogram that come in fully packaged like the other state. The, appro- the effort approximately can ease the process of women to arrive at screening test location with a lower cost especially for their transportation costs. Usually, a major social issues that has not been tended to in provincial Sarawak year after year, the toll taken a toll of travel from inaccessible settlements in inside Sarawak to cities and towns is still as closure burden for more than a million individuals living in rustic areas. Therefore, the obstacle related to transportation costs to go to urban area in order to get a healthcare facility, especially breast cancer screening test that is a compulsory among women. We can make a mobile mammogram by strictly following the standard of pressure since there is a COVID-19 pandemic. For the second, encouraging women to have an early screening test within the bringing of mobile mammogram breast cancer screening test at rural air. We improvise on the way to encourage among women to be one of the participants. The incentives that call as breast cancer screening test voucher will be given for the first screening to every participant that at the same time motivates women to get their screening even once for their whole lives. This effort will reduce the late stages of detection of the breast cancer while increase their leave extension and lower the death rate among breast cancer respectively. Based on the financial analysis of mobile mammogram program for one year stated above, the staffing cost is about 381480 so, so the cost of the staff that associated with the program will be justified based on the number of staff in the mobile mammogram program. Other than that, about 50000 ringgit Malaysia cost for service van and service equipment for about 17000 500 ringgit Malaysia due to service provided in the program in order to ease the participant burden. Moreover, insurance related to the participant safety and healthcare costly 223 ringgit Malaysia, while 12,900 will be a cost for operation expenses. Therefore, the total of the overall expenses for the mobile mammogram program calculated cost a big number which is 427,103 ringgit Malaysia. However, health insurance revenue and grant funding is 234,431 ringgit Malaysia and 267 ringgit Malaysia respectively. For the last evaluation of the overall both expenses and revenue is about 862,301 ringgit Malaysia per year. Uh, what is the best strategy? Our group has two solutions, which is campaign in the rural area and bring the mobile mammographic to the rural area through up. So after our discussions, uh, we think that the bring mobile mammography to the rural area is the best strategy. It is because mammography, mm, mammography mobile is uh, like the bus, so the machine is up inside the bus, 
so that they can bring a new way and this benefit to the woman in the rural area or family in the rural area so they no need to go to the city to do their scanning about the breast cancer so that's all from us Thank you for watching our presentation video. Thank you.